What is going on guys with Gumps videos? My name is Kyle Gump. Today I'll be reviewing two trailers and if you guys have been with me for a while, I used to do trailer reviews for big budget movies a lot and then I kind of stopped because of A, the views have not been there and B, I just didn't feel like it was necessary. But these two trailers had did so, so much for me personally that I feel like I have to talk about them. And those two trailers are gonna be Logan and Laugh At Me If You Want, Power Rangers. So I'm gonna start with Logan first, cause you know, dessert first and then you know, get your means last. Logan did so much for me in this trailer because in the first trailer, I loved it a lot. It showed you the dark side, what we're gonna get the emotional stuff, and then this trailer just kind of showed the dark emotional side too, but focusing more on the action. Not saying I need the action, I'm just saying like, now we got another, we got part two of the style of the movie that we're gonna be getting. And knowing that this is the last trailer, it shows a good sign for me personally, because normally when you don't have a lot of like marketing for this movie, and yet the trailers are so fantastic, they know they have a good movie on their hands and they're not just recycling, copying, pasting the same crap that we normally get. Like in Fantastic Four, I think they had like four or five, not five, but I think they have four trailers and they were all basically the same thing. I was still hyped because I was so young and fragile back then. I sensed a good vibe because the marketing was so on point. They're not just overwashing it and it shows confidence the way, at least what I'm looking at, it's confidence. And a lot of people are a little nervous if not upset that they showed an X-Men comic book. Me and this guy named Scott from Cool Nerd Show actually agree on this 150%. Listen, I know that X-Men isn't supposed to be a real thing, but let's take say that was a real thing for a second and just say there was a dude that had claws and animantium body and shit like that hollywood would so make a movie about it and like there would be so many people making books and comic books about it and there was a dude in real life that could run 50 miles an hour there would be a book movie and comic book about it see running 50 miles an hour ain't that special but we would do it because that's what we do we would make money off them and that's why I feel like it makes sense. They're not going to Deadpool route. They're, being not, they're not going to be, you know, self-knowing and shit like that. But there is some talk about, like, them actually showing the costume. I don't want him to wear it, but I would like to see him in, like, in a costume shop or a comic book shop saying, like, oh, look, based off the comic book, well, here's a costume. Let me talk about X-23 for a sec. Because look at her for a second. She looks like Cody Hall. And if you don't know who Cody Hall is, he's a dude from Schmoes No and uh, um, Amateur Hour Films. He, she looks just like him. At least that's just me. Because at this one shot right here, I was like, wait, what? Why does she look like? No way. And I looked him up. I was like, what? Speaking of X-23, X-23 was amazing in this trailer. I mean, when she had the head, I think that was a head. And then she kind of lost the head. I think she threw it at them. And then she got the claws on. The dude was like, no, no. No. And then she just starts wrecking some shit. Oh my God, this is gonna be so awesome. Time to get your greens, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be talking about Power Rangers. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, just cause you know, Logan was a far superior trailer for me. Okay, so skipping all the, you know, shit we got already with the, oh my God, we're just losers. And then all that other shit. We got some, I think his name is Zordon. I'm, listen, I used to be a Power Rangers guy. But with the names flew over my head, so I give two shits about the name, but I think it's Zordon. Brian Cranston is amazing. You hear his voice, you're just, oh my god. I'm just, like, one thing I'm a little nervous about is that he's gonna take it out of the, take me out of the film because you know it's Brian Cranston, and it's his face as Brian Cranston coming out of a wall. Other than that, like, the, in the first, like, 30 seconds of the trailer that we already got, the next two minutes was fantastic. We got, like I said, Zordon. We got some training sequences. And this one shot is confusing the shit out of me. Why is this dude doing kicks and shit on a freaking train? Is he training on a train? I get the, like, look, <laughs> training and train. <laughs> it's stupid. And then we get the freaking suits in full action. I'm not gonna lie. I, I like, giggle like a little girl. I'm not the biggest Power Rangers fan, but I used to love them as a kid. And that, there was that like five-year-old inside me that was like, this is always what I wanted. Because when I was younger, I didn't want the spandex. I didn't want the, you know, dudes in like the clay freaking costumes and shit like that. I didn't want that. I wanted something, not per se like this, but I wanted it to be more badass. Like, this is what I'm getting. So I'm really excited. I, when he, the Blue Ranger did the kick move and shit, oh my God, I was like so hyped. So 
we're getting more action sequences and we finally got to see the robots i guess uh, like the um mighty morphin robot form goldar uh, okay, I guess. Like, I don't like the look that it's 100% gold, but, you know, I heard some things that kind of made me go like, okay, I'll wait till the movie. And we got Rita Repulsa. The reason why I know that name is because I've been hearing it a lot and on the marketing and stuff like that. She looks awesome. And, like, I, like when she turned, like, like her hair was black and just went psychotic, I, like, I can't wait to see that. So, I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. What trailer did you more justice, Power Rangers or Logan? And which one did you like more? Comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. I have a Twitter, Instagram, Gums underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll come later. Goodbye.